Welcome to another video of Import Labs video tutorials. In this video, we're going to talk about another Microsoft software which is named NetMeeting. It was introduced with the launch of Windows 95 and it was discontinued with the launch of Windows Vista and it was replaced in Windows Vista by the Windows Live uh, workspace and uh, well net meeting would allow you to participate in virtual meeting create video conferencing chat with each other share your data share your applications even share your desktop and give complete control of your computer to the person that you're connected to and well in windows xp um, net meeting is not enabled by default uh, actually it's not configured and when you go to start and search in all programs you won't find it here so what you have to do is go to run and type CONF and press enter the wizard that would actually take you through the steps that would configure the NetMeeting program would pop up the first page it will say that uh, what kind of features that NetMeeting has talk to others, use video to see others and so on just simply click next for the first name um, actually this part it was important uh, when we had Microsoft ILS directories internal locator service directories which um, if you would have actually had had your name listed in those directories anybody would have found your name and anybody would have been able to connect to you um, and made a video conference or chatted with you or um, whatever else but um, because of the problems that it has and and so many issues that it had it was completely discontinued so um, it really doesn't make difference what you're going to enter here but it might be important since when you're going to connect to the uh, to each other the name that would be popping up at the other computer uh, showing that somebody else is connected to you would be your name here the, the name here that you have entered here so I would advise you to um, type in something um, appropriate so um, you won't get confused so here I've got my user here Dave I uh, would type Dave last name would be Doe email address Dave at importlabs.com location comments and next okay here's the um, directory I was talking about if you want it to actually at that time at the, at the time that Windows 95 and 98 we were using these um, net meeting programs at that time if I, if I wanted to actually if I wanted my name listed in the directory I would have clicked this um, check this um, box but right now they are removed even if you check this box and click next it will give you an error so it doesn't make any difference but I would advise you to click this do not list my name in the directory actually there are still so many directories out there that you could actually connect to them and have your name listed in there it, it doesn't belong to Microsoft but they're full of spam and porn and so on so I'd have, I would advise you not to connect to them not because of the spam and porn but because of the um, so many insecurity problems and security issues that it has and so on alright so let's click next um, here the connection that you have with the ESA dial up modem a faster modem a DSL connection ISDN I'm um, right now on a local area network so I will click next um, the shortcuts cl shortcuts click next click next again um, your test your volume of the speakers here here test your microphone here as you see um, it's working you have to have these uh, red lines popping up click next and finally finish and it will start up well um, one thing before we start and talk about uh, net meeting is that first uh, when two users want to connect to each other through net meeting make sure the users that you are logged in in uh, Windows XP um, they should have administrative rights first they should have a password that's the second thing and uh, what else if you're uh, trying to connect to each other uh, with NetMeeting in uh, Windows 95 or 98 um, uh, there won't be and uh, the password won't be actually important here Actu when you try to connect to each other there would be another password there that you have to actually supply uh, the program with so when you connect to each other you have to give that password the password of the users is not that important uh, at that moment okay so um 
Here as you see, as soon as uh, the net meeting program launched, it gave me a Windows firewall error which um, do you want me to keep blocking the program, unblock the program or um, you want me to ask me later. Definitely we want to use this program so we would un unblock it. Okay, um, here in Windows XP Professional um, Service Pack 2, uh, automatically this program was added to the firewall um, exceptions li list. If you work in on Windows um, XP Home or other um, older Windows such as 95.98 you have to go directly to the firewall program click start, click co control panel go to Windows Firewall and here at the exceptions tab find if you if you could find Windows Net Meeting just simply click it and click OK if it's not in the list here simply add program and if again it's not in the list here simply just go browse again if it was there you could just simply choose it and click OK but if it was not if it wasn't there go to my computer go to local and uh, the drive that you've installed your Windows in the program files and finally there's a Net Meeting folder here and choose the CONF um, exit program and click open and so on. Okay, I'm not going to do this since I've got it there and it's already configured. Click cancel, cancel, and um, okay. So let's go back to the program. Here, as you see, uh, it's working without any problems. Okay, so what we have, what we need to actually connect to each other is a public IP address. Well, when you're connected to the internet, everybody, whoever is connected to the internet, ha has a pi public IP address. To find your public IP address, if you're using a modem, if you're using a um, DSL modem, if you're using a router, whatever you're using, the best hit would be to go to the what is my IP address dot um, com or dot org. I'm not sure. Um, this website would give you actually your public IP address. But um, if you want to go a little bit, a little bit more advanced, if you're using the modem, you could simply go to um, the start button, run button here, and type CMD. Press enter. Uh, CMD. Press enter. Come here and type ipconfig, and it would give your IP address, your public IP address. But if you're behind a router, it would give your local IP address here. So um, one one thing you have to do is go to the web application of your um, router and simply find your public IP address but the best shot would be is to go to that website that I said what is my IP address org and simply um, get your IP address and give it to the um, person that wants to connect to you and it will simply they will simply connect to you okay here I have um, there's two machines that I want to connect to each other this machine which is client one I have an IP address of 194.2.2.5.33.10 and the other one uh, is the same just with a dot twenty so I would just simply connect to 194.2.2.5.33.20 twenty. okay make a mistake again okay let's go ahead and click on see what happens see if it works okay as you see here the sound is already the phone is already ringing here okay incoming call from Dave do you want to accept definitely we want to accept okay so here as you see it would be okay Dave Doe and Jane Doe have connected to each other remember what I said uh, when you connect to when you're connecting to each other the name that would be displayed here is important so that is the name that we just filled in Dave Doe and Jane Doe and well what else we have to do right now is to go ahead and talk about the features that it has first of all it's the uh, before before we go through the features one other thing that you have to do normally windows net me uh, windows net meeting has a um, problem 